Hi guys, it is T-Bone Pearson here, and I'm filming with my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera with a shotgun mic plugged into it uh, using some cables I bought at Perth PC. Thank you, Bill! Uh, <laughs> anyways, hopefully this sounds better. I've done a test before, and the internal microphone in the Blackmagic camera is horrible. Now, this is the Pocket version, uh, but yeah, the it was just horrible. <laughs> you could actually find the video and watch it and you can agree with me how bad the audio was. Uh, so hopefully this is better because it's coming from this microphone, which uh, is a lot better. Uh, anyways, so this is a test of the camera. I don't have a tripod, that's why I'm on my knees talking to you guys right now. Uh, now again, I've bought some new Nintendo games. And by new, I mean 30-year-old games for the original Nintendo Entertainment System. All right, so let's have a look at my, my latest uh, games that I have bought. This is Defender of the Crown. I used to have this back in the day. It was fun, so I have now rebought it. Again, I've sold off all of my old games. Uh, how it would work is that you would have a Nintendo Entertainment System. Then the Super Nintendo will come out, so you would sell off your old system with all of the games, and then buy the new system. Then when the N64 came out, you would do the same thing. Rinse and repeat. You would sell off your Super Nintendo with all its games, <laughs> uh, and then you'd buy the new system. So you never ended up with all these old games. Who knew? Uh, all right, I also got Gradius uh, for the Nintendo. This is a, a great space shooter. What's it say on there? It says I think it says like a million copies sold in Japan. All right, so we also have Wrath of the Black Manta. I have no idea what this game's about. It's got ninjas in it. That's all I have to know. It's got ninjas. Come on. Uh, also, I have uh, Afterburner for the Nintendo. I don't know if I've played this version. Uh, Sega, I think, released this game originally, uh, but Tengen uh, released it. And Tengen would release games like Gauntlet, uh, sort of like arcade ports. I don't know if they bought the rights to them or they just did it. Uh, I have no clue. But, but this was cool in the arcades. You could sit down and fly a plane with a, a throttle, and it was pretty intense when it was at the arcade so that's always a fun one um, and also last but not least we have solstice and it's in one of those uh clear cases we have solstice here and i also have the book the manual for solstice and you know what sometimes with these old games you almost need the manual sometimes they're so uh complex uh it's nice to have the manual Nowadays, they'll do a tutorial on the screen and explain it to you and make it very user-friendly. But back then, not so much. Anyways, guys, hopefully this sounds good so I don't have to repeat this. And uh, yeah, anyways, this is shot on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. And I will talk to you guys soon. Cheers! Bye!